Hi everyone, it's Jenny from A Stamping Journey with you today. I have just received the new paper trimmer in, so I thought I would do a little review of it and to show you some of the features that I really like. Firstly, you'll notice that it's really lightweight, which is great for transporting it. And if we have a look at the front, it's quite a wide base for cutting. And the numbers, the measurements are really clearly written on the, the whole base of it. You have it in metric and in imperial measurements, which is really great for whatever you're working in. And you also not only have the measurements at the top, you have the measurements um, halfway and also down the bottom. So that's great when you have larger pieces of card that you can fit in and just check that it's lining up how you want it. So that's a really great feature, I think. On the base plate, there is a plastic covering on. It's up to you if you want to remove that. I think it just protects the, the base a little bit more. So with this arm, it doesn't have a lock, but it's quite secure in there. You can lift it from here, put your card in, and it will be very secure there. The measurements down on the side are only available in Imperial at the moment, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. It's usually when you're wanting to mark down to a certain point, but you can either convert that to the Imperial, the inches, or just rule it with a pencil, mark it, and cut it down. So I think you can work around that for the moment. On the arm, you can easily just pull that out. It's quite extendable if when you're doing your larger pieces, you can see that it's quite large. What I really like too is that the measurements in that gap are marked on to that point. Quite often before on the other trimmer, you'd lose those couple of little points and that was a little frustrating. So I'm really glad they've added those points in, making it so much easier if you wanted to get to those points. When you're finished with the arm, that will very easily slip away there and be quite secure. As for the cutting, you have the two blades. You've got your cutting blade, which is the dark again, and the scoring blade. These can easily be replaced. There's just a point, a gap down the bottom. So if you can see that down there, you can just pull those out. If you have a look at the blade, I don't know if you can see that there, it's quite a large blade, a lot larger than the last trimmer. So that should give a much better cut and hopefully last a lot longer too. So that's really great. And you've got the, the wheel on the scoring blade it is a lot larger too. So that's quite a lot larger wheel on it. So I think you'll really like those features. You'll be able to get replacement blades for those too. So when we come, let's cut a card just to find out how that cuts. We'll slip in this Bermuda Bay card. So we're going to do our basic card base, which for 14.8 for, um, and it cuts through very, very easily there. Just like a knife through, through butter, as they say. And we're going to just score that too. And tuck out your cutting blade out of the way. Give it a couple of runs. You'll find that has scored really easily, giving quite a crisp cut and a score there. So I think that's really great. Put that out of the way. With your thick whisper white, that will cut quite easily too. So we're just going to cut that down to your 10.5. Quite a nice clear cut too, which is really good. What I do like too also is that if you're wanting just a little sliver of card, it will do that quite easily. So you can just tuck your card in, cut it through without catching a really thin piece, which is really great too. So that's quite a good feature. So. Uh, there's lots to love about this trimmer and I'm really excited that we've now got it available. So this is available for demonstrators only now. You can join Stampin' Up! and get hold of it now or very soon it will be available 
for customers so look out for that if you wanted to be notified of that when it's available drop me a comment if you have any questions please let me know too but I think you'll find this a really great trimmer it's $44 Australian so it's not very expensive and you'll be able to get the uh, replacement blades very easily too so thanks for listening and I hope you really like the review